Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So on the channel, I have watched a couple of things with Andrew Tate and he's definitely famous. Uh, I've heard people talk about him, not as much lately, but like six months ago, I heard his name all the time, saw it online, etc., etc. I've never really listened to his speeches or, or whatever it is um, that is for his following just outside the clips. I haven't really heard him. Anyway, I'm excited to see what this is about. It's supposed to be like its best TikTok clips. So without further ado, here we go. I always park in disabled bays. I'm not a bad person, but I'm a quick person. Most people are slow and stupid. I'm fast. No. There's no perk people in wheelchairs trying to use this space in those 45 seconds to me by this. So no, no one loses. The last time I uh, took one of these spaces, someone goes, excuse me, are you disabled? And I replied, I am actually. <laughs> <laughs> and their face was like, <laughs> breathe air. You don't need a bait. Change of volume. Have you ever seen anyone with a vape? Have you ever, have you ever sat in a room? So we go, wait, oh, let me just, oh, a vape's done charging. Load it up. I mean, I smoke cigars, but I know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Give me a big fat cigar. I'm risking cancer to look like a mafia boss. Fine. I'm not sitting there smoking cigars and going, I can't believe this is bad for me. No, like these fucking vape bullshit children. And what kind of parent lets their 16 year old vape anyway? If I had a 16 year old son, he's like, I'll go to vape. Get the fuck out of here, vape. <laughs> do some push ups. You ain't got time to vape. You gotta do push ups. You ain't got time. Ma have sons who are too. The, uh, I'm a little bit older than, well, I guess it depends on who's watching this video. But I remember when the first vapes were being really sold, you know, at first you, at least where I was, the only way to buy them was at like these kiosks in the mall when they first kind of started. And a good friend of ours, because of myself and my roommates, we all pretty much worked in the mall in various stores. But a friend of mine was selling the vapes. I was like, man, it's so cool. You got to check it out. And I did. I took a couple of puffs off of it. And I'm like, I'll just keep the cigarettes. Um, and also, I was like, vape, vapor. You know, do you know anything about the lungs and vapor? Anyway, to each their own, but it's surprising how, like, common and prominent vaping has become. You know, I'm a little jealous because they get the cool flavors and they took my cool flavored cigarettes away like 15 years ago or something. I'm still a little mad about it. I'd like them back. There were some delicious cherry ones and whatever. Anyway, let's move on. No time. Ma have sons who are too busy buying NFTs and say, oh, I made a little bit of money and have skinny little arms and go to crypto conventions and be dorks. I will not have nerds as children. I refuse to have a nerd carry the lame tape. If my son is a nerd, one of us has to die, him or me, and I'll challenge him to mortal combat. Jesus Christ. Imagine one day you're sitting in Paris, you're sitting there having a fucking coffee, and terrorists roll through with AKs, and the person next to you has their brains blown out. You're gonna stand there and be like, waiting to die like a motherfucker. I'm gonna be like, bang, oh, I've seen that before. Okay, boom, boom, duck and dive in, take one terrorist out, next get the AK, go Rambo. I don't play game. My flight's delayed. But it's no big deal. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you have salt? Yes, of course I do. Perfect. But when my flight's delayed, it's not like when your flight delayed. I'm not with a bunch of peasants in a peasant holding area with a tiny Starbucks somewhere in the corner. No. When my flight's delayed, we just have our meal early. KFC. Nice. Eat fried chicken. What else am I going to eat? Obviously. Obviously. Oh, those fries look delicious. It's a world championships. Nothing's going to change. Thank you very, very much. Just sparkling water. For your safety, <laughs> I strongly suggest water. you do the same. Get all your friends around, call every friend you have right now. Invite them over for a party. They all turn up and pour out sparkling water. Hey everyone, let's have a glass of water together. Water can't hurt anybody. We're all probably dehydrated anyway. What's the worst water can do? Let's have a nice glass of water and everyone's gonna drink it. When you see that one dude, oh, oh there's bubbles. Never speak to me. I like the color. You like the color? Yeah. yeah. I don't understand. He's saying give them sparkling water instead of water and if they don't like the sparkling water, they're not your friends. I've never even had sparkling water. What's the difference between sparkling water and water? One has bubbles? I don't know enough about sparkling water to understand. There's bubbles. Never speak to me. I like the color. You like the color? Yeah. yeah. I, I had um, mixed reviews on the color. Some people said they like it, some people said they don't like it, and I said, well, what color is your baguette? 
<laughs> well, fuck off then. I come home. My four wives are sick. There's no around. They've it's seen on the wise. news there's new deadly contagion. Andrew, you need to wear a new deadly contagion. I pick up my sword. I am the commander of this house. I decide if there's a contagion. I decide what I do. Be quiet. You cook. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on air. I had a girlfriend who was a vegan. I didn't know she was a vegan. Unfortunately, I found out. She said, oh, I'll never cook meat for you. I said, look, well, I'll be honest with you right now. We're going to end up splitting up because you're living in my house and I'm paying the bills. And if I want steak, you're cooking it. That was a good two-hour argument until she eventually cooked the steak. Of course she did. What's she going to do? Lose me? She cooked the steak. She sat there. She pretended she was upset. Two weeks later, she's eating meat. I converted her. I fixed her. One person at a time, I'm going to fix the world. This is the reality. You're some fat dude and you just had a heart attack. And I don't really know you. You're gonna die. I mean, if you're a really good friend, no, not even if you're a friend. You better, if you're my friend, you just can't be a pussy. What well, <laughs> a heart attack? Fuck up. Fuck up. No hospital later. Have a drink, a cigarette, a cup of coffee. Back in the game. I'm gonna have a heart attack. You know me, a pussy. So none of my friends would even have those kind of problems because I don't roll with fucking little bitches. But if you're some dude I don't know and you need CPR, and they will look at me, who knows CPR? You know me. Help him. No. Why? Thank gay. Some child. I feel like there must have been something on that video before he's talking about heart attacks, saying that the guys are pussies for having heart attacks. Like, what? What? It's not intentional. I mean, some people, you know, lifestyle has a major impact, but for some people, it, it's not. Like, it's just a surprise. You know? experience that they don't like man he's uh, like uh what's the word there's a word for it not unempathetic isn't isn't the word i'm looking for but something like that why thank gay some child is outside enjoying their life playing with toys and smiling in the sunshine and having fun i hate happiness i hate happy children uh -huh. Anyway, you're all losers. We've, we've discussed this before. I'm the king of the world. There's no power in sushi. <laughs> the whole point of food, food and water, or food and liquids, are the only things you put in your body. Unless you're a fucking freak and you're sticking things places they shouldn't go. A hundred people at random who last had sushi for dinner, and a hundred people at random who last had T-bone steaks for dinner. And you've got these 200 people, 100 on each side, and they had a fight in the middle to the death. Who the fuck you think is going to win? <laughs> a whole bunch of hippie liberal California losers and their sushi? Or a whole bunch of cowboys and heroes with their big ass steaks? <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I thought it was what, what kind of full grown adult deliberately, not on accident, deliberately eats sushi? You go on a date with a, a chick. Lot of people. Who all have the sushi, please? Get the little chopsticks out. Dipping it in the sauce. Fuck is wrong? Full grown man. <laughs> He looked normal, looked like a normal dude. And we're going through the menu, and he sits there, and he says, hmm, I think I'll try the sushi. What, what kind of full-grown adult deliberately, not on accident, deliberately eats sushi? You go on a date with a chick. Well, I'll have the sushi, please. Get the little chopsticks out. Dipping it in the sauce. Skip it back a little. What the fuck is wrong with you? Andrew, I know you said money isn't real. But I Is that sushi super popular though? My best friend loves sushi. We've gone to eat Japanese a couple times and she always has me like eat a piece. I, I don't care for it. I'd rather have, you know, hibachi or something. But a lot of people like sushi. A lot of people. What the fuck is wrong with you? Andrew, I know you said money isn't real, but I am getting fucked. Having five million dollars when you're young is much better than having billions when you're 17. What the fuck are you gonna do with money when you're old? Your dick yeah. doesn't work. You're tired. <laughs> you don't wanna go places. You're decrepit. You're slow. There's nothing left to do in that age. Bro, I need a mask. Mm. Corona. I'm, I'm, please, Not Corona. Wrong. I'm so scared. Oh, no, no. You too, Quickly. please. Oh, my God. The disease are hurting. Thank you. Oh, my God, please. Close one. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I was so worried. I was so. A lot of people ask me, Andrew, why do you have a machete next to you? Is. And my answer is simple. Why wouldn't I have a machete next to you? I have that Why don't that. you have a machete next to you? Yeah. Like, what if someone gets in the house, gets fresh? So, yeah, someone knocks on my door in the middle of the night. I have to go answer the door. Right instantly there. pick up my machete. Yep. 
And people are like, yeah, but that's weird. It's really not weird. I think ahead, motherfucker. I have a machete next to my bed. In fact, there's, a, there's at least one, depending on the room, between one and three machetes hidden in every single room in my house, even bathrooms. That's smart. Any room I'm in in my house, I can, I can produce a weapon. That's awesome. And if you can't do the same thing, you need to think long and hard about why you're such a little pussy. <laughs> that's actually smart. I don't keep a machete next to my bed in the house. I have one. I keep a baseball bat next to my bed and a nine millimeter a few steps away. But, um, sorry, my brain went out. I had a home intruder like five or six months ago. Somebody busted in our home in the middle of the night and I was still awake because we'd been traveling and hadn't been home that long. And the person kind of cornered me in a place where I don't have weapons, if that makes sense, like a place in the kitchen. And so all I had was a cookie sheet in my hand. But there's something that kicks in that I was ready to knock them out with a cookie sheet, should I need to. Uh, but that makes me, I hadn't thought about a machete in the house. That's not a ter I mean, a machete in each room. That's not a terrible idea. I don't really want to leave guns all over my house. I have kids, but I, I'm, I'm with them on that. Better to be safe than sorry. Um, some of the things, like the sparkling water, I didn't totally get. But some of the things, you know, like the cowboys who just ate steaks versus the people that ate sushi, that was kind of funny. He, I think that one of the reasons I hear about him so much is because he's very forward. You know, it's um, unapolog he's unapologetically himself. He seems very sure of his perspective and the thoughts he's sharing. And that can be, in and of itself, you know, off-putting for some people if they disagree, which, you know, everybody's different. Anyway, it didn't, he didn't put me off. He's just a, he reminds me a lot of my nephew. He looks like him, and he reminds me of him in his kind of mannerisms and his brashness. I don't know if that's the right word. Anyway, let me know in the comments if there are any Andrew Tate clips that you think I definitely must watch. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.